If you have a conversation nowadays with nearly anybody about how to fix Armenia's economy, at some point during that conversation, somebody will mention IT, Silicon Valley, tech, those types of things. Those are the buzzwords as to how many people believe Armenia's economy can be fixed. Many people believe those are the industries that will create jobs here. Today, our guest on CivilNet is someone who has already created a few jobs in the IT sector in Armenia, Dr. Arda Markosian. Dr. Markosian, thanks for being with us today. It's good to be here, thanks. Okay. So if you could explain your path and how it got to the point that Mentor Graphics became interested in Armenia. The way Mentor Graphics came to Armenia is that there was a company called Ponte Solutions that uh, my colleagues and I uh, found it in 2003 and it was acquired by Mentor Graphics in 2008. Uh, and as a group of like 50, 60 engineers in Silicon Valley and five, six technical people in, oh, I'm sorry, 50, 60 engineers in, in, in Armenia and about five, seven uh, technical people in Silicon Valley, we became part of Mentor. And since then, Mentor, it became like integral part of uh, Mentor Graphics uh, research and development team. Cool. And explain to us what, um, either what those engineers living in Armenia do or what Mentor Graphics does, kind of in a broad way. Um, Mentor Graphics is one of the leaders in a small niche of uh, big semiconductor industry. And this niche is called electronics design automation. And Armenia um, is familiar with, with this niche, uh, having synopsis uh, here in Armenia, employing like over 600 people, I guess. Um, Mentor Graphics is uh, one of the largest competitors of uh, Synopsys. So in this small electronics design automation niche, there are three leaders. It's Synopsys, Cadence, and Mentor, Mentor Graphics. Backing up from the technical a little bit, um, when you hear someone say, okay, we think that IT is the industry for Armenia, or any development plan going forward has to include uh, IT, how would you respond to that? Um, Usually large companies like uh, Mentor Graphics or, or, or other big companies, they're out there for talent. They're not just looking for a cheap labor. Uh, and Armenia uh, was able to provide this talent uh, to these kind of companies. Uh, that's the main motivating factor for Mentor being in Armenia. Um, of course, there are, there are some smaller companies that, that look for freelancers or, or like small groups that would make some work cheap but that's not something that we would like to pursue um, as a development path for Armenian IT industry. Uh, we want to highly specialize in certain niches because uh, like, uh, in general it, it's impossible to compete with India or China outsourcing for example. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Can you explain um, why innovation, niche, high-tech, high-skilled work is probably more attractive for, or more suits the Armenian environment, the economic environment, than say some of the more large scale projects. Because we cannot do it on a mass scale, right? We are, we are a small nation and um, we need to leverage the educational system, which is not broken, but it's, I mean, it has to improve to, to be able to sustain the uh, growth of um, IT industry that we're talking about. On the other hand, IT industry in general, I think is a, is a perfect uh, niche in economy for Armenia to, to, to provide some um, um, basically sustainable development for, for this country because it does not need any um, like physical resources. It does not uh, need any um, like large amount of uh, whatever electricity, water, irrigation systems or whatever. Uh, so the, the product is purely intellectual and the export is as easy as sending an email from Yerevan to Silicon Valley. You talked about the education system. Just kind of directly, do you ever struggle to find enough talent here to fill the jobs that you need? Yes, absolutely. It's always a struggle. And as far as I know, all the companies, all IT companies, um, start employing their, um, basically their staff starting from like uh, second, third, fourth year of uh, 
of the university such that they can train these people so they are ready to be productive when they're hired as uh, like uh, full-time staffers. Um, I can say firsthand knowing some people in the IT industry, I mean there are, you know, and we always talk about how, how weak our Ming's economy is. In terms of that industry in particular, um, there are companies offering referral incentives for anyone who can give them uh, somebody with the skill set to fill their job. So if you have that skill set, there are plenty of opportunities programming that type of stuff uh, in our union. But let me ask you the next question. Um, if I was a 15 or 16 year old and I was trying to pick an industry, pick a career path, pick an education path, why would I, why would I follow programming or IT or something along those lines? Um, if we're talking about uh, benefits and, and compensation part of it, obviously it's uh, probably one of the most competitive um, niches in Armenian economy because we provide high salaries, um, um, medical benefits, which is not very usual for Armenia. Uh, in but that's not the only thing that people are looking for when choosing the profession, right? Uh, I mean, a person has to have inclination to technical, uh, um, technical specialties to choose this profession. And as, as you mentioned, uh, just the fact that uh, these companies work with the world leading companies as um, I don't know, Samsung, um, Sony, Fujitsu, you, you name it. As you said, every single chip that's manufactured in the world probably is using uh, the tools of Synopsys and uh, Mentor. Um, let's kind of finish with this. Uh, you're starting another operation within Mentor, so it means you're hiring more people in Armenia. I think you and I talked before, uh, and you had said the, the IT industry was roughly four to 5,000 people in Armenia. Is that right? Yeah, I think roughly it should be 5,000. Yeah, about 5,000. Um, is that on a continued growth? And uh, we already talked about manpower. What, is, what are the challenges to keep growing and keep that sector you know, moving forward? Um, of course, since our uh, IT industry is completely dependent, well, um, mostly dependent from uh, the global um, IT industry, and we're doing just outsourcing, um, that's a risk factor that if something happens with global economy, um, that m might affect Armenian IT we're industry. Vulnerable. We are vulnerable. Though uh, it it might play the I mean the other way around, right? If if the, there's a crisis and people cannot afford to pay high, high salaries in Silicon Valley, sometimes they expand teams in Armenia. So this is an a opportunity that we, we need to take advantage of. Well, uh, we'll leave it at that. Um, I know you're in and out of the country all the time, so we hope to talk to you again. And we hope every time we talk to you, you're announcing a new project uh, to hire more people and go forward. But thank you so much for joining us. Thanks very much for hanging.